a wise man once said that any nation, country, or place in society can't tr thrive based on what the people can do, but rather they thrive based on what the people can't do. Although that's a bad paraphrase. He also says that you are miserable because you're free. So I don't think most of you are ready for him, but you are ready for me. So let's start off with the concept of natural rights versus human rights. Let me check if this is something that you hear a lot on YouTube for, I go on and say it. Cameras on my face, but I could give a fuck. Okay, so I do see it. It is there, but let's go on and have my take on this whole issue. You see the concept of natural rights on the Constitution. But ever since the 1940s, we've been hearing more and more about human rights, and that's becoming a much more popular subject. Basically, almost everything is being declared a human right. It's almost just a first world statement. And it's a justification for the United States to engage in war with non-first world places. Places that couldn't afford to have our human rights justified, like what's considered human right now, what, free knowledge, what else, almost ridiculous, having and owning a house, being able to travel from place to place, passports basically, and ac access to water, indoor toilets, it's ridiculous how many people think that their first world, I would, I would basically call it a privilege, is something that's a basic fundamental human right. And that dictators who, while they are fucked up, most of the time they do, do really radical shit, but because they don't provide these things, we decide we're gonna basically shoot up the place with guns and fucking drones and we're we're gonna see how we're gonna fix the problem later this is a really fucked up nation and that's how we're just gonna continue conflict that's how we're gonna continue Holding on to a military that's supposed to defend this nation, not experiment with other nations. But, of course, the bureaucracy sees this method fit. What else? Hmm. I always gotta say what else in my videos, because if I just end the video right here, I'm probably not gonna say something more interesting well in general the first world is, has always been an illusion you see the United States United States we can do all this shit because we like to extend our debts if you're in debt why not be in more in debt it's not like resources are scarce Hence, economics. Like, which creates the problem that we all have much more luxuries and stuff than we can actually have in any other place because we're able to cheat debt and cheat the finite resources. But we can't do that forever. I remember someone asked a question to an Eric Orwell 
responded in a slightly angry way. Like, why can't we just continue being in debt? Why can't we extend it? It's it's so arbitrary, the numbers and the stock market and something of that nature. And it really just reveals to me how idiotic the first world is. And you see the antinatalism of other places and how alternate leftism has really made our shaming statements kind of backfire. So this world's getting really fucked up and going back to the subject of human rights versus natural rights, which is kind of the whole point of this video. If natural rights is based on natural law, what's human rights based on? Well, to sit law of humans. And most of the time, human rights is based on something that doesn't make us feel sick. Okay, not being able to get all this nice stuff is going to make someone feel sad when they expect and feel that they should get it without the sufficient time, effort, or work. And that's going to make them feel sad. Might have to break a nail, or maybe I just can't do this right now. Which puts things in a way fucked up position. This would never happen... With the days of natural rights and natural law in the Constitution. Because what is natural law? If you do stupid shit, stupid shit's going to happen. Doesn't mean that if you do everything right, everything right is going to happen. But certainly if you keep putting yourself in debt. And this is why natural rights are de facto and human rights are de jure going into Latin because really if we keep doing stupid shit which is what the first world is kind of based on stupid shit's gonna happen so we keep putting standards and stratifying people not based on ability but how much they can put themselves in debt, that's kind of what determines your rank in society. Oh, you can put yourself $2 billion in debt, man? You are a man. You should basically own this country. <laughs> that's kind of fucked up. It just occurred to me that that's, that's the standard. Barack Obama is the best person at putting people in debt. He paid off his two Ivy League schools and his wife's school in 2006 and they went to Ivy League schools in the 1980s I wasn't even semen back then let me write that down I wasn't even semen and they put themselves in debt with what Harvard and Columbia yeah that's it's pretty cool What we're cutting into more trillions, so yeah, they are impressive, and that's why they're kind of at the top of the mountain because they can do that. You don't put yourself in debt. Oh man, you're a nobody, you ain't shit to us, you're, you're not contributing to the first world. Those countries that don't give schools or hospitals because they sadly can't afford. None or clean water, all that they're fucked up. We should kill that dictator and basically send our troops in, shoot up some terrorist kids or places where there's kids nearby, and let's hope that none of those kids dies, especially in front of their parents. Oh, kid, let's just do all this shit. It truly is, truly is problematic. Because I guarantee you that if circumstances were to be reversed and they were the ones that were 
on top than in the next 100 or 200 years. It'd be overtime for us. Because if we need them, they're basically going to treat us the same exact way except a lot more harsh because of the differences in values. They're not pussy niggas like us. Toronto niggas don't fuck around. But you know what? Neither do I. In other words, the law of humans is the law of it's the law of the culture. Where the law of nature is simple. Every religion has some mode of natural law into it because people know that if you do stupid shit, eventually it's gonna come and bite you in the ass. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but eventually. That's kind of what the United States is. The United States is the perfect example of natural law. Because we are based on doing stupid shit. And then waiting for it to bite us in the ass. So I'm done with this video. I think I've went in circles... And certainly, I think I don't think you guys love seeing the greasiness of my hair. It kind of makes me look like that true puka fuck. But whatever. So, Mr. Walker 7 and S to D.